Where in the world do we go from here? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster, I Shinobi. We have episodes 375 and 376 of our One Piece watch today, and it has been absolute madness in this climax of Thriller Bark. Luffy had his final showdown with Gecko Moria, this gigantic thousand soul Gecko Moria, and he has won. He's defeated. He dropped the entirety of the castle on him, basically. But at this point, it seems these shadows aren't exactly returning to everyone yet because they're still burning from the sun. Zoro just at the end of the episode stood there just kind of taking it and then not to mention the fact that kuma is still just kind of lurking in the back somewhere probably like i said taking notes and probably going to give word to the government like hey they beat another warlord we're gonna hop right into it. if you need the channel drop a sub and hit that big boy bell and let's get started it's so beautiful the sun behind it too we're under the perspective that they're just like burning away right now basically i mean they kind of are why are they just standing there though all three of them they're not even like taking a run for it yet just little baby luffy too there has to be more to it like something has to happen for the shadows to return or maybe if the shadows return before they're completely burnt away it just like snaps you back like you just can't lose your whole physical form like the top half of lola is gone i just realized thriller bark has a whole anchor that anchor has to wait an absurd amount a pirate ship on the ground oh wait is this someone whose shadow was taken yeah all, all the yeah the boards oh they're back you get to see him like celebrate oh wait that that guy in bed he looked like one of the zombies yeah he was like one of the main ones oh that so feels good man nah moria just came to his senses and decided to be nice and give him back oh they of the four emperor wait wait the guy who beat him was an emperor well no wonder he lost if he's up against someone that's like shanks or whitebeard bro oh okay so kaido is another one of the four so now we have an idea we know shanks or whitebeard now we know a name of a third oh they get to run in the sun oh my gosh this place looks fantastic oh, wait plates oh wait no she can't it can't be uh what, what's her name oh i was thinking uh what's her name but she her actual body's dead the plates are kind of ominous though is that what matters right now wait i've had hard feelings towards plates wait what does that shadow have a relation to her Aww. Margarita. Switch to the C. Sindri. Sindri. Does she have a relation to Sindri? It's kind of specific that they both have a hatred for plates. Maybe I'm just missing it. I, there's probably a thousand comments already. I appreciate the correction, though. They're going to be fine, right? It's Sanji laughing. And they're all good. Bro, and you're just chill about it. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you don't have a heart because i'm a skeleton oh brooke is free you can feel the sun oh my heart oh gosh even lola's back even though you guys tried to give up like 20 times <laughs> Oh, Luffy's back to regular size. I was gonna say the shadow restores the body. There's a fit for you, only one. My God, dude, they took down another warlord. Kuma's report is gonna sting. Frankie needs some cola, yeah. God, dude, it's enormous. It just straight up fell on him. All the lifeless Mor uh, Mario's now and Moria. Absalom. So Absalom isn't a zombie. He just has like modifications, basically. He's still a regular guy. But Lola is actually Lola again. <gasps> that was Hogback. He lived. Oh my gosh. I thought he got crushed. Says you. He knows Moria lost. And we don't even know where Perona is anymore, bro. She got freaking slapped out of existence by uh, Kuma. What actually does happen to Sindri's then? Since her body is actually like deceased. So is Nami going to tell them there's another warlord on this island? Oh, forever. However long he used it. Oh. Mm -hmm. He'll push himself too far. Dude, Usopp has done a tremendous job like in this whole like climax. They all pulled a sort of weight. So, Brooke, that was tryouts. You want to join? Still? Oh. Nah, he just looked like a zombie. <laughs> we roped back around to that joke, bro. He was the original one they ran into. Oh, he's president of the Victim Association? There has to be some joke there that I'm missing. HPVA? Is it the acronym? Oh, shoot. 
the respect. They're like, yeah, get us the hell off this island. Food would be a start. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Watch, Absalom's gonna fall in love with the real Lola. 44-49. I'm especially interested in you. <laughs> yeah, but he's not gonna say yes to marriage. Oh my gosh. What can you do? I mean, an escort off would be nice, but they don't, I mean, it's fine. I'm still anxious about Kuma, bro. He's probably just lurking watching them. Oh, wait, true. Wait, we might be rich. Oh, wait. Yeah, she hasn't told them. Nami, please. Finally. He's just lurking somewhere. Oh, sounded like a radio. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he said they would, that, that Gecko Mori would lose. Oh, he's telling him on the transponder. I mean, he was bound to either have a conversation with him or something eventually. I, I figured he wouldn't just be like, ah, eh, and then dip off the island. I mean, I feel like either he's gonna engage or he's just gonna give them a, like a fat warning. Like, hey, you took down another one. Like people are gonna be after you. Still don't even know like how his power works. Frankie's really chill. Oh, the Bible has the symbol that matches his chest. I just realized. And Luffy's not even conscious. It's just like, dog, it can't be. Because they're all like at their, their like wits end, basically. Yeah, but now you need a replacement for Gecko Moria. <laughs> oh, wait, they want to try and keep him alive. It would look bad if they had to get another. Oh, maybe he's just going to take Gecko Moria's body and leave. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be like these insane, unbeatable enemies. Nearly as large. They look like the same size when they talked. He said the information can't get out. Oh no. Oh no. Dog, there's no way. There's no way. What? They've been fighting for hours and he's coming off the bench. And he's fast too. We've seen how fast. He basically like teleported when Nami saw him. And Luffy's not even conscious, man. And they're all like severely injured. That's what I'm saying. Zoro's ready, I guess, man. Dog. Zoro, stop, bro. You're already breathing heavy. This isn't a test anymore. You don't even know how he works. I think he teleports you because he asked where she wanted to go. And then one smack of the hand and she was just gone. He has to just teleport you or something. That's like the only thing that makes sense with what happened to Perona. But there has to be something else to it. Like some kind of weakness. God, he's so fast too for his size. Like Gecko Moria was large, but he was kind of like, he's kind of clumsy. I mean, out of all of them, Zoro's probably the, the most capable right now. Maybe Sanji, maybe Robin, but they're all gassed, bro. Oh no, the glove. Zoro. <laughs> Take it easy, Kuma. Chill, brother. Chill. Dude, they just got their shadows back, too. Do not engage. Oh, no. Bro, collided. It's like an air blast. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, god damn, Thriller Bark is not going quietly into the night. Episode 376, on to the next. Dog Zoro brave as hell, man. But I think he just realizes how dire this is. Oh, it's like a it's like a footprint type. Oh, it's like a, a paw, like an animal paw. I guess he kind of looks like a panda. I don't know. Yeah, that is so that is so unlucky, man. I I can't even I I can't even begin to describe how unlucky this place is. Warlord plus giant berserker ores plus second warlord. Maybe they feel like they owe it to them since they just fought this insane battle. Ain't no way, man. They are so brave. 
Like, it feels like he's stronger. He's all reserved. Shiga <laughs> Chad. Holy. Dog. Oh my god. His design is so good. So menacing. Are those his eyes? Like, are they just blank? Are they glasses? I can't really tell. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Okay, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, they all got bounties. Even Chopper is a little 50 berry bounty. Is he like getting ready to engage? <laughs> True. Oh my gosh. Dog, there's no way. He looks untouchable. He's so fast. Oh my God. His hand. Is he charging? Dog, Thriller Bark takes no victims, takes no survivors. Bro's in a hole in the center of the earth! It's just such a powerful blast that it does clat through stuff. Zoro, let him cook! Let him cook! It is like a paw print. Paw palm print. It's some devil fruit. I'm guessing it's Paramythia. It has to be Paramythia. Thank God Zoro got a third blade. He just repelled it. What what are you to do? <laughs> Apparently, Chopper. Oh man. Paw paw fruit. So it is his his hands. So how did it work with Perona though? <laughs> Her lord. Oh my god. How are you saying this, Frankie? Oh! Who just killed Frankie? Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro put a hold in his chest. Yeah, just like insanely high speeds. Yeah, his front side, it, it, it usually wouldn't. He was repelled at the speed of light. Dog. He's just so intimidating. It's such a... What is he doing? It's such a, a, a contrast to Gecko Moria. Oh! Oh, like one of those hits you, you're down. Oh my god, he's gonna repel him. There's more hidden though, because again, we don't know how it worked with Perona. She just straight up disappeared. There's no way he hit her so hard to... Dude, it's just like being so big and moving so fast is like, oh my God. Are they actually going to try to help? Actually, he told them not to. Dude, this is after Zoro's been through hell and back already. He's already behind him. Oh! Thank you, Sanji. Oh my God. Thank you. I need more of you to step in. I need more of you to do anything. No, not even remotely. Oh my God. It hurt him that bad? More than Iron Body? My god, did he break his leg? He's like analyzing them. Dog, Sanji's kick didn't do anything to Iron Body, but didn't hit him back. You guys still want to take a jab at it? You're more than welcome. Let's go, Usopp. Atta boy. Throw something out. Presumptuous. <laughs> oh my god, Frankie's up? Damn, D dude, the fact that Luffy isn't even awake to see what's going on right now is absurd. He has to wake up. The thing is like, there's this sort of like analyzing that can be done if they were just to come across him, but it's just the timing at which he's showing up. It, it literally couldn't get worse. They've all been knocked out several times already and it, they don't even have their captain. He's slowly figuring them out. Will does not derive pleasure from killing you. Mm. I mean, maybe he will leave? But oh. what is he doing? It sounds like he's gonna leave them alone. What is that? Who oh, made a spirit bomb? Oh my god, it's a paw. It's a giant paw. There's someone like go slices slices back or something, please. They're all like stunned in fear. And there's nothing they can do about it. Oh, it's just gonna be one like compressed bomb? An insane amount. Yeah, the ones he was throwing like crazy were already like bullets. This one's actually gonna be like a nuke. He literally just said he wouldn't derive pleasure from killing them and then proceeds to create a bomb. So like, how did we get to this point and throw our bark? How? The power of the sun in the palm of his hand. God, this place is a wreck. But oh, the civilians. 
They would also be witnesses. Oh my god, he's gonna nuke them. Oh! Wait! <gasps> what? Oh my gosh! Dog, I don't think... I, of course the straw hats wouldn't say yes, but I don't think even those civilians would say yes. If you kill the captain of this crew that's been causing all of this trouble, then yeah, of course they wouldn't care. They would say in retaliation, Luffy was killed. I don't think that they would agree, even though their lives are on the line and would be spared. I knew there had to be some kickback. Yeah, ain't there's no like world they say yes. They probably insulted that he would even offer that. One, imagine almost like one random dude in the crowd goes, yeah, okay. Robin doesn't even have to say anything. Yeah, all the people too. Let's go, baby. Luffy, I need you to wake up, bro. I need you to wake up. Not later, now. Is he just gonna drop it? Surely not. Oh, he's gonna shoot it. Everybody run, just run. Anything, move your legs. Dog, what are they to do? How does he not take damage? <laughs> Dog, can you even recover Gekko Mori at this point? He actually just nuked Thriller Bark. Was his power, so I'm assuming he has some resilience. But he's like, like 10 feet away from a nuke still. He just has to be built on another level. I know that disgusting, disgusting to be continued screen is coming. I just know it. Is there anything left? Dog, what is going on anymore? What is happening? I thought the climax happened. This is like the climax times two part 20. I, I don't even know what to say. Another warlord showed up and he's like Gecko Moria, but reserved and insanely powerful, much more powerful. Gecko Moria, the whole drive behind it was the army he had. And once you got past that, it was the doll that he used to fight in. And once you got past that, it was him and they beat him. But Kuma, Tyrant Kuma doesn't need all that. He's a, a, a machine. He's a tyrant. I, I, I don't have, I don't even have any words. I'm really happy that all those people said ain't no way. Like they saw, they know everything that Luffy did for them. So why would they have any doubt in, in handing him over? I didn't expect any of the straw hats to, but I wasn't 100% sure on if they would or not. But now he, he actually just straight up nuked Thriller, but this is bonkers. This arc, this, the end of this is fucking insane. I don't even know how many more episodes are left, but I'm just, I'm, I'm, my mind is just out the window. Guys, that has been it for episodes three. 75 and 376 of our one piece watch through do drop a sub so you do not miss whatever insane developments occur next because i, pff, I haven't been able to guess a single thing this arc and it, it just gets harder and harder too but with that being said i will catch you guys in the next one peace peace